Hey guys, it's Spencer. So today I'm gonna go through my nighttime facial routine. And so I moved apartments and now so I'm shooting in my new living room. Um, so hopefully one of my roommates doesn't walk in because that's super awkward because the front door is like literally right there because they would just go straight into the video. Um, and the lighting situation is not great because, so I'm just using natural light right now and we don't have blinds, so there's probably like weird shadows and stuff all over me. Hopefully you guys can bear through with that, but you know, we'll see. We'll make it through. Um, okay, so basically I'm just going to talk you guys through what I normally do for my nighttime routine. Um, and the general basis of it is like, you want to make sure that you're cleaning stuff, you want to make sure that you are adding in the moisture, all the nutrients that you need. So when I go through the steps for a facial cleanser, I normally just use pretty much a generic one. Um, you just want to look for something that's like not too expensive because it's not doing that much. All you need is to do is something that will make your face feel like it's been cleaned. So right now I'm using the House 99 um, face wash, but you can use pretty much any generic drugstore brand. So I do that in the shower, and then so after that I come out, I get a cotton pad and I throw on some of this Ultra Facial Toner from Kiehl's and so this one I put like a dime size amount onto the cotton pad and kind of just like blot it all over and so what this does is adds a little bit of the nutrients so this has I think vitamin E um, and also just like helps me moisturize a little bit more and it doesn't have any alcohol in it so I make sure that I look for things that don't have alcohol because well first of all I just don't like alcohol but also because alcohol in your toner usually dries it out further and so you don't want to have extra drying after you just did a face wash because that already strips away a lot of the moisture and so if you go with this guy here then you don't have that issue of extra drying that you don't need so I literally just fan myself in my room until it dries um, and then I add it on a serum so right now I'm actually testing out a Caldera and Lab the good um, multifunctional serum so this one's an oil based one and I'm gonna go through a different review for just this specific product um, but before I used this one, what I actually was using was the Dear Eleanor Face Serum. And this one's a custom based one and it provides all the nutrients that you need. But mostly what you should be looking for is vitamin A or retinol um, and also hyaluronic acid. So those two things are going to help you kind of get rid of like wrinkles or anything that is an imperfection on your face. And so that way it helps plump up your face more and prevents signs of aging. Um, and also it's helpful to find vitamin C in your serums too because that actually helps protect from UV damage if you use it in the morning. Um, and that really synergizes with a SPF at the same time. So once that's done, again I just fan it with my hands again because that's just what I do for everything. You want to make sure that everything is being soaked into your skin and that allows you to go to the next step because you don't want to keep mixing all these different products when they aren't meant to be mixed. And so instead, you gotta let it go layer by layer by layer. So, serum's done. And then I use Facial Fuel from Kiehl's. Um, so this is actually really helpful because it's... This one doesn't... It's not too oily. And I have kind of oily skin. I have combo skin, like I told you guys before. And so this one, again, has vitamin C and vitamin E in it. So this one, moisturizers, I feel like also don't really matter that much. Um, but I like this one because it's really refreshing and it, you feel like a little tingle and I really like it when products tingle a little bit, I don't know why. Um, but it just like adds a little fun experience to it. So once that moisturizer is on, then I will add on the Atom Super Cream. So I would use like an anti-aging cream after my moisturizer because the moisturizer just lays down a nice foundation for you to get that moisture back in that the cleanser got rid of. Um, but having the aging creams or like um, anti-wrinkle creams, that's something that you put on top as more of a preventative measure for the future. And so I like having that as kind of like the last layer there. And then after that, I will use the Yonka for men um, under eye gel. So I've talked about this one before, um, but I really like it because it's it just feels like... I don't know, you don't feel it that much, and it's kind of like a clean kind of thing, so I really like that. Um, and it comes out clear, which I really appreciate. Um, but there are some eye creams that are super heavy, and this one feels pretty light, which I like better. Um, so I put that on as the last step. And then if I have like some breakouts, like I do right now, like right here, and kind of like around here, I will also add on the Balance Me Congested Skin Serum. So this one actually works really well. So I've used it at the first sign of like a pimple popping up and it actually has gotten rid of it within a day. So these ones I've been gotten kind of lazy about and I haven't actually put this um, skin 
congested skin serum on um, until like kind of late, so it didn't work this time. Um, but I think it has helped speed up the process of it healing, um, but I think that it's much more efficacious if you did it earlier on and kind of nipped it in the bud as soon as possible. So, these are all the different steps that I go through, so that's just my nighttime routine. Um, in the morning, I have a different routine, which I will talk about in a different video. But if there's any specific products that you guys like and you want me to talk about, or some other products that you guys want me to review, let me know, and I'm happy to buy them and see what they're like.